children, high, high children of the Lord. We are preparing to meet Jesus. Children, I pray you've had an awesome time at school this week and you are all in good health. I pray very, very soon we shall meet together in church and fellowship together. Before we start God's space today, let us say the opening prayer. Everyone close your eyes. Heavenly Father, we thank you for such a day as today. Lord, we pray that everything that we learn today will be able to be doers of your word and go out and be able to preach and teach your word to those around us. We pray that we all learn something from this and be true disciples of your kingdom. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray with thanksgiving. Amen. Amen, children. So, I've got a question to ask you guys. Children, last week was Children's Week and I was so amazed at what I saw. On Saturday, we had a Children's Variety Day. Honestly, it was amazing. I saw some children writing their own poetry, others writing their own songs and performing it. I saw some of you growing your own vegetables in your garden and others showing us how to make um, a volcano erupt using some Memphis and Coke. On the Sunday, we crown Children's Day on the theme of how to become a glorious child of God. Amen. Amen. I can't wait for all of us to have this Children's Week again next year and hopefully it will be in person. This week, we're going to learn about prayer. So children, I want to ask a question. Have you ever wanted something so, so badly? Like something you really wanted or something you thought you really, really needed? What did you do about it? Okay, I'm waiting for your answers. What did you do about it? How did you go about getting that thing that you really, really wanted from your parents or from your friends or from your teachers or anybody that you know? What did you do about it? I know when I want something, what I do. Our memory verse for today is 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 17. Verse 17. And it is, pray continually. What is it? Can someone tell me? It is 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 17. It's just two words. It says, pray continually. Amen. Now, we're going to open up our Bibles and read today's main text. And it comes from Luke chapter 18, verses 1 to 8. Luke chapter 18, verses 1 to 8. I'm going to wait for everybody to open their Bibles so we can start reading. When you're there, just give me a big shout so I can continue. Okay, so Luke chapter 18, verses 1 to 8. I'm reading from the NIV version and it reads as follows. Then Jesus told his disciples a parable to show them that they should always pray and not give up. He said, in a certain town, there was a judge who neither feared God nor cared about what people thought. And there was a widow in that town who kept coming to him with a plea, grant me justice against my adversary. Verse four, for some time he refused. But finally, he said to himself, even though I did not fear God, nor care what people think. Yet, this widow keeps bothering me. I will see that she gets justice so that she won't eventually come and attack me. Verse six. And the Lord said, listen to what the unjust judge says. And will not God bring justice to those chosen ones? Who cry out to him day and night? Will he keep putting them off? I tell you, he will see that they get justice 
and quickly. However, when the Son of Man comes, will he find faith on earth? Amen. Now, this story really, really spoke to me. Now, this widow was probably seen as a nobody in the society she came from. And this judge was a law unto himself. It says that this judge did not fear God. This means that this man didn't care. He made the rules himself. He did whatever he wanted to do. But by the end of what we were reading, we realized that this widow, who had nothing but just wanted her justice, was able to get it from the judge. How did she do that? Can someone tell me? Anybody? It says she kept on coming back to him over and over again and pleading with him. You know, sometimes people will tell you, oh, don't worry, don't even take that situation to where you want to take it to. Or oh, they will not listen to you. Or oh, you're too small. Or oh, what you say, they won't listen to it. But this widow did not give up. What did she do? She persevered. She carried on. She kept on and kept on and kept on. And in the end, the judge said, I do not fear God. But I'll give this widow her justice. And that is all the widow wanted. She wanted justice. She wanted everything done right by her. And because she did not lose faith and carried on, what happened? She got what she deserved. So, children, let me go back to my question that I asked you originally, which was, when you want something, what do you do? Do you just talk about it and talk about it and talk about it and when you don't get it, you just leave it? Or do you go on your knees and pray? The Bible says we should pray with our season. What does that mean? It means you don't just pray when you want something. You don't pray when you're sad about something. You don't pray when you've lost something. It means you pray all the time. Like 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 17 says, pray continually. It means we should pray constantly. And I remember in um, what we just read, in from verse 6 I'll read again and the Lord said listen to what the unjust judge says and will not God bring justice to his chosen ones who cry out to him day and night so God is saying that when you want justice when you want something from him and you pray to him all the time what happens he vindicates you he brings you what you want. That's only if it's according to his perfect will. Sometimes the things that we want from God might take some time. But remember, God can change your situation in the twinkle of an eye. To us, it might tarry. To us, it might be taking too long. But maybe it's not the right time for us. Maybe it is not the right season for us. But when the right time comes, things will happen for you so quickly and so fast. You will just be in awe about the goodness of God. God will never let his children suffer. God will bring you out of anything that you're going through. That is why he says we should continually pray. We should always pray. We should pray. Even sometimes when we don't even want to pray and we feel so down, just speak to him. Just pray to him. Communicate to him. Remember the Sunday school song that we learnt? Prayers like a telephone. Prayers like a telephone for us to talk to Jesus. Prayers like a telephone for us to talk to him. So remember, prayers like a telephone for us to talk to Jesus. God is our father. So anytime we're going through any situation that it might seem is too big for us to handle, just keep praying to him. The mountain might seem too high for you to climb, but I promise you that God will level that mountain for you. Sometimes I remember when I was in school, 
I found it so hard to do certain um, lessons, let certain subjects, maybe math equation. And I'll be trying, I'll be trying, and I'll be trying, and I'll be trying. And when I come home and I'm praying, I say, God, help me to understand what I'm learning. Help me to be able to solve these equations. Help me to be able to find a way to understand when the teacher is teaching me. And I promise you, children, a time comes whereby I understand the equation so easily, I don't understand what happened. So I'm a living testimony of that. And I promise you that when you pray, you go to bed next time when you wake up, God has already done that thing that you wanted God to do for you. And just like this woman in the parable that we just read, she didn't just go and sit in the corner. It doesn't say in here that she went home and prayed, but you never know. Maybe she went home and prayed and prayed and prayed and said, God, soften this judge's heart. Let this judge just fight my battles for me. I may not have any silver or gold. I cannot bribe him. I can't do anything for him. But God, please let him fight my corner. God, use him to fight my adversaries. And what happened? God did it. So God can surely do it for you. In all situations, anything you're going through, carry on praising and praying to God. Carry on praising and praying to God. And he will surely see it through. And children, when we are praying to God, we need to believe in what we're praying to God about. We need to believe in God. We need to believe that he's our personal saviour, that he came to die for us on the cross. You have to believe this in order for your prayer to go directly to God. And sometimes, though your faith may be shaken, sometimes we feel so, so sad and we don't even think anybody's listening to us. Remember, God is always listening to us. You might not get that sign straight away, but I promise you that when you pray and you believe, God listens and hears your prayer. Okay, children? Yes. So going forward, I want all of us to be able to do that. Just like that widow. In the beginning of the parable, she seemed like the weak one. She seemed like the one that had no hope and that the, the judge was a strong one the judge had the upper hand but i believe that this widow went home and prayed and prayed and prayed and in the end god elevated her and made sure she got justice so sometimes we might seem like we're small sunday school children but do not let that deter you because remember like i said previously that God can use anybody at any age. So don't think that God will not listen to your small prayers that you pray. God can always use us mightily. Your small prayers might be able to tremble and shake things. Your small prayers will be able to level the mountains in front of you. Your small prayers will touch people's hearts. Your small prayers can heal the sick. Your small prayers can do so much more than you ever expected. When you pray to God and he sees how pure your hearts are, children, he will always do it for you. And so Sunday school children, let us never ever lose hope. Let us never ever forget who our father is. Let us not, never ever forget our father can restore everything that we have lost. Let us remember that our father has made us lead this in every situation that our father has made us the head that our father is always there for us to be able to fight our battles for us battles that we cannot fight physically our father will fight it for us even look at david and goliath god was able to use david to defeat goliath so don't worry, even if you have a good life in your life that you're praying about for God to help you to overcome, God can do it for you. Amen? Amen. Do not worry about anything. Worry not because you have a father in heaven that makes the impossible possible. 
He makes the impossible things in life possible. Our Father in heaven that can make that small mustard seed become so big. That shows that our Father in heaven can make us small Sunday school children do mighty, mighty things in church. Do mighty, mighty things in societies around us. So let us never ever lose hope. So at the back of our minds from now on, when situations seem so difficult and so hard, let us remember that small, frail widow that had nothing that was able to change the hearts of that judge. And if she was able to do that, what more us when we want things from our Father that created us, our Father that knew us before we were born, our Father that molded us. What more, children? There's so much things that when we pray, God will unlock for us in our lives. But not when we pray today and stop tomorrow. Let prayer become our daily thing that we do every day. Let us not be able to leave our house without praying. Let us not be able to go to bed without praying. Let prayer be as, as normal as eating breakfast in the morning for us. Let prayer be as normal as brushing our teeth every single day. Let prayer be something that you do daily, that you do with your family daily and do by yourself. Before you go to bed, you pray and ask God to protect you and your family. And when you pray to God, God listens. God listens. Amen. Amen. So children, I am so glad that we have learned so much together today and Going forward, we will not lose hope when the things we pray for and pray about do not come to pass straight away. So children, um, there's another song that I know we all know. And the song is, read your Bible, pray every day. Read your Bible, pray every day. Let's sing it together. Read your Bible, pray every day, pray every day. Pray every day. Read your Bible. Pray every day if you want to grow. If you want to grow. Hallelujah. Read your Bible. Pray every day. Pray every day. Pray every day. Read your Bible. Pray every day if you want to grow so what we learned from this as well is prayer is very important for the growth of us as christians for us to be able to go out and speak the word of god so children i hope we have learned something from today's um god's space and before we go i want you to i'm going to give you one task to do I want you to share any testimonies that you have of a time whereby you prayed and prayed and prayed and God showed himself strong in you. Or a time where you prayed and prayed and prayed and that one thing that you wanted, God did it for you. I'm going to share my testimony, which is when I finished university and I was looking for a job, people were saying, Oh, Tasha, it is so hard to get a job out there. The job market is so hard. You've left it too late to apply for jobs. And so many things. I had so many discouraging words. I said to myself, no, I am a child of God. I will not be in the same pool as everybody else that is not able to get a job. So what did I do? I got on my knees and I prayed every single day. And I prayed and I prayed and I prayed and I just kept on applying for jobs and I prayed and I applied for jobs and I prayed and I applied for jobs. And glory be to God, I was able to get a job a week after I graduated university. And this is a personal testimony from me to encourage you children that no matter what happens in life, do not stop praying. When people try to say to you, you cannot do something. When people try to say to you, don't try it because you're not big enough. Or don't try it because oh, you will not get the right results. Or you can't do that maths or you can't do that English or anything like that. 
just say to them, I have a very big God. He's always by my side. A very big God. I have a very, very big God. So children, thank you so much for um, sharing time with us today in God's space. And I can't wait to hear your testimonies. I can't wait to hear how amazing your testimonies are so we can encourage each other to keep on praying at all times. Amen. Amen. So let us say the closing prayer together. Heavenly Father, we thank you for such an awesome time in your presence today, Lord Jesus. We pray that, Father God, every single thing that we have learned, Lord Jesus, that we will keep inside us, let it germinate. We pray that, Father God, any time we face adversaries or mountains in our lives, that, Father God, we will keep on coming back to you and praying and praying and praying. Father God, I pray that we will continually have faith in you and believe that, Father God, whatever people say is impossible, that, Father God, you can do it for us. Father God, you can change the impossible to make it possible for us, Lord Jesus. We thank you. We praise you for the coming week, Lord Jesus. Let us know that, Father God, anytime anything is tiring, that, Father God, as time goes on, it will surely come to pass. We thank you that, Father God, we've been able to gather together and learn about how to persevere and pray continually. Father God, I pray that going forward, all of us, We'll continue to pray in all situations, whether we are happy or sad, no matter anything that we face. And we will continue to have faith in you that, Father God, you can do all things for us in the mighty name of Jesus. Father God, we thank and praise you. We pray that, Father God, very soon we'll be able to come into your presence and fellowship and praise together in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord. We pray that, Father God, we will be blessed. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray with thanksgiving. Amen. Amen, children. I can't wait for us to get together again. Until next time, see you on God's space next week. Amen. Bye.